Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and tonight I'm doing Mini System Test 6. We're on to the 6th test, and is, today is July 18th, 2023, and it is 8.05 at night, and, and, and it's still light out for some reason, I'm not sure why, but... Still daylight out, but it, the sun is going to set real soon. But um, I have a very basic setup for you guys, but I have not changed the pole station yet, just to let you know right off the bat. Because I didn't really feel like changing the pole station, and some of the other pole stations don't really pull well on the hardwood flooring or the tiled flooring, because I'm just trying to go with an easy pole station to pull, and I just wanted to make that perfectly clear. So the panel is the same. I have I have three sets of wires coming out. Let's open up this panel and take a look. I'm using two NACs again. One is for NAC one is for the audible circuit. Um, NAC two is programmed for the visual circuit because I'm going to show you the alarm in just a second here. Actually, you already got a glimpse of it because I showed it in the video by mistake, but oh well. But first things first, let me pop off the dress panel so you can see a little bit better. What the dress panel does, it protects all this circuitry under here. This is your IDC card, a addressable loop card, basically. So this is your SLC loop right here. This is this is an addressable panel. And this wire is going out to here, going down to the module, which I still don't have the faceplate screws for it. But there's the monitor module. And you and it also reads this pole station as an addressable point staying instead of a conventional zone. So this is obviously an addressable panel, just to let you guys know. And plus, SCR Safety also has this panel, except mine didn't, didn't came with the key lock, and plus, I broke the ribbon cable that came off the dialer card, which is back there. Well, it doesn't affect the operating condition of the panel, the panel still works just fine, except I just broke the ribbon cable because the pins came out of this little plug-in port right here, this jack right next to this green circuit ribbon cable. As you can see, I accidentally broke the ribbon cable off of the dialer. I was trying to unplug it, but it turns out you didn't have to do that, so I did something that was not completely worth it. You had to go into the programming and disable the dialer. So, whoops. But I'm not using the dialer or anything like that. I'm not tying this thing into the city to to call 911 because this is not being used as a life safety system. This is more of a hobby system for now. Let me see if I can get the dress panel back on so that way the circuitry can stay protected. It's, it's kind of pain to do this with one hand. There we go. Alright, the dress panel is back on and also we have my Simplex T-Bar, still the same as before, and we have my System Sensor SS24, System Sensor Mass non-ADA sounder strobe. And the reason why I'm using this device, because this is the only mass that can work off of this panel with no problems, because this one is 24 volts DC. My Mass ADA sounder strobe my other mask that is that has an ADA strobe on it that that unfortunately uses 12 volts and I don't want to fry it unless it can run on 24 volts I'm not sure but if that's the case um, I will get a another mass ADA that has a 24 volt DC input instead of a 12 volt DC input but and for the tone that I have this set for is slow whoop and I have NAC1 tied into the sounder and I have NAC2 tied in with the strobe so the strobe will continue to flash when the system is silenced. So anyways, 
and my camera battery is running low, so let's get this done real quick. But instead of pulling the pull station, we're gonna do manu we're gonna do the fire drill mode, which is basically opening and closing the pull station. So let me get my simplex B key ready if I can get it ready. Get the camera with the other hand. Okay, and yes, my hearing protection is on, so let's go ahead and key activate the pull station. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. That's enough of that. It can get a little bit of annoying after a while. As you can see, the uh, strobe is still flashing because that's tied on to NAC 2, non-silenceable. So I basically have NAC 2 set up for strobe NAC. So yeah, as you can tell, this strobe is um, 1.0 candela. And as you can tell, the strobe on this thing uh, flashes very slow and not too bright. It's it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but the camera is picking it up like kind of dim or something like that. Actually, it's picking it up kind of bright on the camera, but the strobe on this thing is not very bright at all. And these things get frequently replaced because, and there is a YouTuber on YouTube that is the MSJ191961 he has the exact same alarm right here just like I do but he pulled it out of this out of the dumpster he pulled one out of the garbage dumpster um, at a building renovation that was going on and I think that's what it is and when he got his his didn't came with the jumpers so his is stuck on the uh, slow whoop tone, but mine right here has the jumpers because this was used and it came in the box used, but this is one of the notification appliances that David gave me. So a big shout out to the MSJ191961. So guarantee that if and some people are telling me it is true if you p push this button again it'll resound the alarm and this and the alarm will sound off again but if you push it again it will silence the alarm so I, I will demonstrate that in another video but I'm not going to demonstrate that tonight because I had this going for long enough I just didn't want to have it go for too long because otherwise it would disturb people around me and, and right now my brother Joseph's on the computer <laughs> sorry and if you want to check out Joseph's channel um, what's your channel's name Joey so what's your channel's name Yosefalophagus Yosefalophagus go go check out my brother Joseph's channel Yosefagolophagus. It's kind of hard to um, pronounce, but a shout out to him right because he's right next to me. Say hello to the viewers. Hey. Yeah, he he's on his computer, <laughs> and he certainly doesn't mind the alarm going off. But I didn't want to sound it off for too long because I didn't want to <laughs> disturb people and stuff like that. Okay, since I talked long enough, let's reset the system.
as you can see that strobe is still flashing and again it's not very bright at all it's super dim okay systems reset acknowledge and then we can close the panel okay Thank you all so much, everybody, for watching. That was a uh, system mini. I'm blah, 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 excuse me, mini system test six with a different alarm. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. So, be sure to share this video, everyone you know and love, and please hit the notification bell and also keep the sub sub subscribers rolling in. And I will see you guys in the next video. And hopefully I will see you guys, give you guys some more videos pretty soon. So anyways, thank you all for watching. And this is Mini System Test 6. And that'll be it. Thank you.